Do you think you're smarter than average? Well, most people do. So something's wrong here. Let's go find out. Hi guys, it's Peter, and I'm back with the second episode of Discussionizer. Um, today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic, and um, that is why people think they are better than average. Of course, most of us probably wondered already about this many times, but um, I thought it's good to put together some nice uh, video about that. So it is actually called illusory superiority, or easier said, the above average effect, which is a cognitive bias. Um, and basically it means that people overestimate their cognitive or other ability relative to what it is actually. Some research suggests that this above average effect depends on culture too. For example, Western people tend to overestimate their abilities, while East Asian people tend to underestimate their abilities. It also depends on whether you talk about a uh, certain situation in life, like uh, in which uh, men uh, tend to overestimate themselves, or in which women tend to under or overestimate themselves. So it depends on many things. But the main question remains, why do we have this above average effect? Well, first of all, people are egocentric. Secondly, cognitive dissonance, which is basically readjusting historical experiences to our favor. Selective recruitment. This is, this is basically why comparing to others, we tend to pick our strengths and others' weaknesses. Self versus aggregate, which is when we compare something to a group, we tend to overestimate the person relative to the group. And of course, last of all, pure ignorance, which is not true. I just made it up, but I think it's funny. In this episode, after the short intro, we're going to quickly jump into the fun facts with Peter. In a survey of Faculty of Nebraska, 68% of the participants rated themselves in the top 25% for teaching ability, and more than 90% rated themselves as above average. In another study, 32% of the employees of a certain software company believe they are in the top 5%. It's insane. In a similar survey, 87% of an MBA students in the University of Stanford rated their academic performance as above than average. Another interesting survey in the US that's uh, particularly interesting because it, uh, its sample size is, is massively big, uh, exceeding 2,800 participants. Two thirds of the participants basically believe they are smarter than average. I saved the most interesting one for the last. In 1991, Dunning and Kruger carried out a study that actually won them a Nobel Prize. Its name was Unskilled and Unaware. I think that tells pretty much everything about the whole thing. What they done, what was revolutionary relative to the other studies, that they split the uh, participants to four big groups. And they had to do a test, and they had to guess their performance. Now, they could nicely plot then uh, the difference between the perceived capabilities and the actual test results. What was striking is that the lowest scoring 25% had the biggest gap. That basically tells you that the more stupid you are, the larger cognitive bias you have relative to your performance. And the higher scoring participants actually underestimated slightly their abilities. So they were still the closest to reality. Here is the results of their research. In the x-axis, the four groups, and on the y-axis, the performance in percentage from 0 to 100. The white line is the actual test score, while the black line is their perceived ability based on the interviews, which were recorded pre-test. One can clearly see that the lower the performance is, the bigger the gap between the actual test and the perceived ability. After all the statistics, let me share some funny story about the invisible lemon man. <laughs> 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 
Yes, yeah, so criminal case MacArthur Wheeler in 1995 rubbed his face with lemon because he believed that he won't be seen on the cameras when he's robbing a bank. Now, that's how stupid you can get and that's how big the cognitive bias becomes relative to your real performance. Let me quote Charles Darwin here. Ignorance more frequently begets confidence than does knowledge in the descent of man in 1871. So after watching this video, I would like to ask you something. First of all, would you consider yourself smarter than average or not? Secondly, do you think this cognitive bias is socially conditioned or genetically driven? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe and thanks for watching.